The word of God is alive and powerful, sharper than any two-edged sword, piercing even to the dividing asunder of the soul and the spirit and the joints and the marrow. And it is a critic of thoughts and intents of the heart. All scripture is God-breathed and is profitable for doctrine, for reproof, for correction, and for instruction in righteousness, that the man of God might be mature, thoroughly furnished unto all good works. Study to show thyself approved unto God, a workman that needeth not to be ashamed. Rightly dividing the word of truth, or accurately handling the word of truth. Dear brethren, in this unique dispensation of the church age, as we go through in the pilgrimage trip, under the polytheism of privileges given to us, it is quite necessary for us to note that we, being our citizenship in heaven, need to leave behind at each and every breath that we take, that we can do valiantly with Christ, we can triumph with Christ, because our Lord has won the battle and we are following Him. And it is He who works in us that is pleasing unto Him, provided we submit to give everything which is absolutely taken care for the possession of the soul by the ministry of Lord God, the Holy Spirit. That's why rebound is very much essential. That's why getting back into fellowship by the mental ministry of Lord God, the Holy Spirit is very much essential. That's why each and every time that we take around, considering Bible doctrine to be number one priority, is very much essential. More than the thing which our Lord told in John 6, 32 and 33. Our Lord said to them, Verily, verily, I say unto you, it is not Moses that has given you the bread out of heaven, but my Father gives you the true bread out of heaven. For the bread of God is he who comes down out of heaven and gives life to the world. Exactly the same pattern, the, the spiritual bona fide gift of a pastor teacher given to you so that you can know at the process of exegesis, which has not been made known now, it could be made known for you to the clarity so that you can understand the word of the Lord more clear than ever before. That is what our Lord meant. So here we have our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ is the manna for our soul. That is what it is, His Word. It is by feeding on Him that our spiritual life is nourished and sustained. As He only can give life, so He only can sustain it. And this He does by presenting Himself to us in the written Word and by the Spirit. Not only in His death as a lamb slain, nor in His resurrection from the dead as an old corn of cannon, but as the one who humbled Himself, who has who was born, who was down here below in the likeness of man and the word made flesh who dwelt among us as strangers here we need the friendship and consolation of one who himself has been a stranger over here and this we have in our lord and savior jesus christ how cheering to our souls it is to trace his footsteps from the manger to the cross as recorded in the gospels how the manna character of our lord and savior jesus christ appears there the small round thing lying on the face of the wilderness was unknown and unnamed among men he came in the night of the world's darkness and passed away unheeded and despised by those who he came to bless Therefore, dear brethren, to do the same thing as well. You can have your eternal blessings in time as well as in eternity, but your escrow blessings will not be made known until and as you come to the sunlight and expose what exactly is wrong in the sight of Jehovah and what exactly is wrong that you are practicing and that how you have to cover and that how you have to correct. Therefore, men fail to expose themselves to the lights of Bible doctrine because they hate darkness more rather than the light. And that is what it is happening today in our pulpits. Men are constantly and consequently loving darkness, darkness, darkness. They are loving the pleasures of this world, either by the lust of flesh, lust of eye, or pride of life. That's why they have been not able to, eligible to look upon the sincerity that could be found in the Bible doctrine, the truth that could be found in the knowledge of Bible doctrine. That is what it is happening today in our pulpits. Men are not able to understand the reality of the truth. Pastors are not able to understand that we are not here to exchange the glory of Lord for a lie. But rather we are here to tell the truth as it is. And we are here to expose them elenco to the light. To expose the true character in the light. Not in darkness. The one who does a mistake will oftenly be afraid to tell to others that you are doing a mistake. That's the pattern of the churches today. That's the pattern of the pastors today. They don't have enough guts to tell because they are not practicing the truth, therefore they don't tell the truth. 
and they want to search either one or the other trend. A trend the way how Satan wants to trap. It couldn't live our, our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ to be born or here alive on this earth. It made 101 excuses. It made 101 reasons to allure right from the beginning from the infiltration of the genes. Later on it wanted to put the blame upon Mary if Joseph would have been left her after the betrothal. When it couldn't spare our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ so that he will win the victory of angelic conflict in this battle of the cross. How much more you and I, dear brother? Every believer who has been born in sin definitely formulates himself to the trend patterns of the sin nature before it could eventually grow out. That is the grace of our Lord to forgive us. If it was Martin Luther, he might have fell in love with a girl and he wanted to come out of the system. And that doesn't mean to say that he eloped her. If it were the William Carey, they will say he fell in love with the own daughter who was five years older. And all these things may be silly things in the sight of the Lord. Because the way how Satan wants you all not to learn the truth, to obscure all the truth, it is not the personal life of the pastor that counts, it is the message. And he will definitely change as well as he walks along in the church age. The greater reality, the mystics, what you have done knowingly or unknowingly, he will confess it and he will come back into the fellowship. Because he wants to you be in the fellowship, so that you can learn and yield to the fruit of this fellowship. And there could not be anything more than this. And people today, the fundies, the fundamentals, the Pentecostal crowds, the legalists, they want to look upon the life of the pastor and they want to see what is the honest report they have. And they don't want to look what is the reality of the bona fide gift of a pastor teacher which has been given to a, a member who is a male believer provided he uses his life as a temporary sacrifice to study, to study, to study and teach. That preparation they don't want to look, they want to look upon his life. Whether he loved a girl, how he bought her, how can we listen to his message? He's not such kind of a man who could be fit according to the Bible. The Bible, when it speaks about the honest repair, it speaks about the deacon, not about the pastor, teacher, presbyters. And the bona fide gift of a pastor, teacher, who has been under the controlling power of the ministry of God, the Holy Spirit, will definitely correct his life will definitely change to the patterns towards pertaining to Christ and the praise of his glory and his grace. He will not stay there for a long time. Take it granted, dear brethren. And depending upon these silly excuses, like the way if Martin Luther would have been, then Protestantism would not have been formed. If William Carey would have been taken into consideration for his three marriages, then William Carey wouldn't have given to you these books of your translations. When God was not being spared by Satan to really see that he should be killed, he should not come, exactly for you to stand in the pulpit and preach, it will raise the minds of the fundamental or the ecclesiastical displeasure of the authorities to tell that this is man who is not eligible for you to preach. Because the Satan knows very well, if this man stands to preach, definitely there will be a repentance by Job. And he never how it got into the change of mind. For the wrath of the Lord which could put upon them, definitely the same pattern will be there. Definitely the same procedure will be there. Definitely the same methodology will be there. They will definitely start to hear. But the love, world loves to be justified in the sight of man. But our God knows our heart. Our Lord knows our thinking. Our Lord knows what we are and why he has given us this gift. And the man, if they fail to understand this gift, we are not here to worry about them. If they fail to recognize this gift, we are not here to proclaim against them. But our duty is to tell, whether they hear or forbear, our duty is to go on teaching the word of the Lord. And greater our failure to understand the simple truths, dear brother, whether you believe it or not, greater will be a failure for you to know and to understand the same of Therefore, our Lord said, I have given them the food. I myself became light and came to this world. 
and how the manna, the character of Jesus Christ appears there. The small round thing lying on the face of the wilderness was unknown and unnamed among men. He came in the night of the world's darkness and passed away, unheeded and despised by those who he, be he came to bless. They knew him not, but his people know him and delighted to feed upon him as the one who humbled himself. The manna was white. It lay unsealed in the dewdrop of the sand of the desert. Such was the blessed Lord. Although in the world and continually moving amid its defiling scenes, he was only harmless, undefiled, white in his unsealed, unsealed path from the manger to the cross, undefiled, white in his white in his path from manga to the cross, as his garments were on his transfiguration mount. The manna was sweet, his states like the honey. The Philistines once said, What is sweeter than honey? Dying a saint can answer, How sweet are thy words, and to my taste, more than honey to my mouth. That is the importance of that, and even Jeremy emphasized in 3.16, or 15.16 of Jeremy, Thy words were found, and I ate them. Lord himself magnified his word above his name. The pastor teacher work is to preach, to teach. To exegete, to ISO get categorized as per the dispensing technique of dispensations. And if the pastor teacher fails to exegete, it is gone. And Satan wants to put a blame upon his life. And see that they are not going to form upon doctrine. Dear brethren, and ponder over these things as we shall continue in the next time. Father, we are grateful for the privilege that was given to fellowship with you through the word. We pray that Lord God, the Holy Spirit, and all the things and make it a source of blessing and challenge, sovereign Lord. For we ask in Christ's name, Father. Amen.